it's Nito again and I'm here with a haul from Lush and I really like Lush there are some things I really like some things I actually don't really like actually but anyways in, ge in general I like Lush and generally what I buy from Lush are bath bombs or soaps I know that a lot of people think that um, making haul videos is like bragging or showing off but that's not my intention I love watching haul videos I watch so many of them and um, I think I just like watching with my eyeballs what other people buy <laughs> so I hope you don't think of it as bragging but kind of like sharing or being able to see what other people buy and then making good decisions based on that on what you're gonna buy yeah i know first world problems we're just spoiled that's what we are um this is the butter bear and i like the butter balls even though it leaves kind of like an oily rim around my um, bathtub but i really like it anyway just because i have really dry skin so i got the butter bear i'm assuming it's similar to the butter ball it does smell like cocoa butter, and I think that is the one of the main ingredients in here. It says it has sodium bicarbonate citric acid, theobroma broma cacao, aqua parfum, parfum, cocoa butter smell. That's what it smells like to me. Um, so it's kind of light, but I find that these butter balls or butter bears are quite moisturizing, so that's why I got that. Um, and I'm actually really curious to know the prices in um, your country. The prices of, I, I'm really curious to know the prices of Lush in your country. When I came to Europe, I looked at the prices and I was like, dang, that's expensive. Because I remember that when I was a teenager, I, I used to go to Lush on Queen Street in Toronto. And I used to be able to afford buying more stuff. Maybe it was because it was, you know, 10 years ago or whatever, and now it's the future and everything's more expensive. But when I went to London, I looked at the prices of Lush and I was like, what the? And then I went to Italy and it's even worse. So in euros, this butter bear, you know, one bath thingy costed, um, it cost $3.95, I believe. So three ninety five for one bath bomb, and it's not dollars; it's euros. So you have to think like it's about five six dollars for one bath bomb. I find that expensive. What do you think? Okay, another thing I got, which was a freebie. They gave me a freebie. I don't know why. I think they were just giving everyone freebies who bought stuff. Um, this is an Italian. So I guess, I don't know, because the name is Italian, but it's supposed to have oats in it. And look, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's just a sample of a soap. And it's called um, Il Signore dei Granelli. And look, I kind of destroyed the... Let me try to read you the... Put this back together for you and try to read you... The ingredients here it says aqua brassica napus don't know what that is um nuci fer cocos nuci fer so that's like cocoa coconut sorry propylene glycol avena so there's oats in here and um titanium dioxide glycerin it smells like a nivea face cream to me. Like it smells like a cold cream to me. That's what it smells like. Next one. This is one that I chose and it's uh this is a seasonal one that I bought. I chose this and it was not a freebie freebie and I think it ended up costing me six euros. Oh <gasps> no. I just paid eight euros. Okay so for this bar of soap I paid eight euros. That's a lot isn't it? Don't you think? I think it's a lot. Anyways, this is called Yog Nog, and it's supposed to be like eggnog. It's an eggnoggy kind of soap. Oh, let me tell you the ingredients first, because this way the stickers together. Aqua, glycerin, brassica, napus, cocos nucifera, sorbitol, glycine, soya, so soya, parfum, parfum, 
Eugenia Cariophilus Kananga Odorata Gardenia Jasmine Oldes Titanium Dioxide um, and then a lot of Linalol and things that I just can't pronounce Theobroma Cacao but that's one of the later ingredients so you know um, then it's something very mysterious it's called Miristica so a blend of essential oils I think that's what it is actually okay now I can open it and show you what the soap looks like and this was one that I was really happy to find actually because you know it's unique the thing is that once I open this what I'm I'm gonna have to start using them I guess oh my gosh so it does have so on top it's sprinkled with cinnamon and it smells like eggnog guys eggnog for your body and skin. You can just rub that eggnog all over yourself and smell like eggnog. There is no eggnog in Italy. I can't find it. If I want to have it, I have to make it myself. So this is nostalgic. 12 years since I've had eggnog. 12 years. This is so good. I want to eat it. Can I eat it? The soap feels so smooth and buttery right now. I feel like just by touching it, it's going to melt and come off my skin. And I think it did come off a bit. So it's just a very smooth, moisturizing kind of soap that smells amazing. Um, especially if you like, well, if you don't like eggnog. Yeah, you know, you know. And the last thing I got from Lush is the Fairy Ring Soap. And this costs 6 euros and 66 um, cents. And I asked euro cents, okay? 66 euros, 66 cents. It's like $10 for this little, you know. This was the smallest one. I asked him, can you cut me a small piece? It's my precious. Um, this has aqua glycerin, brassica nappus, cocos nucifera, sorbitol, parfum, jasminum, grandiflorum, vateveria zizanoides. Alrighty then. This is the fairy ring soap, and this is part of the mushroom part because they. Okay, it's a soap that is shaped in the shape of a mushroom, like the kind from Mario Brothers, so it's like. You know, red with the pink circles on it, pink, white, what light, light, pink, baby pink circles on it. And um, so I got part of the mushroom part, and the bottom is most mostly the pink stuff, but then the doors and windows are made out of the red part. And I asked them, Well, what's the difference between the body and the top? Is it the same? Like, because the ratio, like this, the pink part is more in the bottom part, and the red part is has a bigger ratio on the top of the mushroom, the cat part. Am I making any sense here? So um, he said it's the same, it doesn't matter. So this has more of a soap smell, you know that soap smell? But it's also very sweet and refreshing. It does feel very smooth but not as buttery and creamy feeling as the yognog. It has a bit of a flowery, dare I say, jasminey. I smell jasmine. I smell flowers. I smell sweet, and I smell soap. But yeah, so I got that, and I'm kind of a sucker. I'm I'm a sucker for anything that has fairy on it. If they call it fairy something, I'm like, ooh, fairies. Yeah, I have to get that. Fairies sound good. I like them fairies. Yeah. La la la, la la la. Fairy soap. Not just fairy soap, fairy ring soap. Are you gonna trap me and then take me to the fairy world where I can frolic and maybe I can be a fairy and live there forever and be beautiful and young forever? That would be nice. And a fairy ring is something that if you step in there, it could transform 
port you into this fairy world and maybe I'd eat the food and then I'd become a fairy and I'd be stuck there forever and that sounds good to me. And just dance and sing all day and do what fairies do, what do fairies do? And what do fairies do? That's a good question. Maybe I'll have to do some research first before I go into the fairy world. Alrighty then, moving on. So if you're just gonna get one thing, I'd probably go for the yognog. Um, it's my favorite smell out of all the things that I saw in Lush and out of all the things that I got. And yeah, these are just the main things that kind of stood out to me in the shop when I was in Bologna, looking around. I was on a mission to find Sephora, I didn't find it. It was closed, Lush was open, Lush wins. Sorry, Sephora, not so sorry, Sephora. In my opinion, because I like eggnog, but if you don't like eggnog, don't go for the yognog. Maybe you'll find something else that you like better. I don't know, we're all different, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so that's it for my Lush haul. I really hope you had fun watching it. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for my Lush haul. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe. And just thank you so much for watching. Bye.